Hello there folks, today we are painting Mount Rundle, which is close to Canmore in Alberta. Uh, this is a big beautiful mountain, and uh, what you want to do with mountains is you want to paint them when the sun is setting, so that they have very distinct facets that are lit up. But one of the facets will be lit up with the sunshine, the kind of orange glow of the, the last hour of sun, what they call golden hour. And then the other facet will be dark. And this gives the mountain a lot of volume. It's a, it's a very dramatic look. So that's my ideal for painting mountains. You don't always have to paint them like that, but um, if you can, if you can, if you can take a picture or, or start sketching them um, during that hour, that that's definitely the best. And here you can see I'm painting a little bit of foreground. Uh, foreground is nice. You don't have to have foreground, but generally speaking, I always put a foreground in, uh, in my paintings and my sketches because it gives you somewhere to stand. Um, just when you're looking at the painting, it's kind of like a, you're in the foreground and this mountain is in the very distant background. There's a lot of space happening there. So yeah, try putting in a foreground. You definitely want to have that in when you when you're landscape painting or sketching. Now these are the very distant mountains. Um, so these are even further away than the middle ground, the the big mountain, Mount Rundle. Um, so these would be like kilometers away or miles, miles and miles, maybe like ten miles away. Um, um, when I paint these or when I sketch them, they're going to be a very light color because they're so far away. There's a lot of air, a lot of atmosphere in between you and these and these distant objects. And so it makes the object look a little bit like uh, pale, blue, blue and white instead of like the actual color that it is if you were close up. Okay, here I am... Um, so this is going to be the dark face of the mountain. So the light's coming from the right. And so this this left face is going to be pretty dark. It's going to be in heavy shadow. And then also you can see I've got like I've studied um, the fracturing in the rock and I'm trying to get that into um, into my sketch here. So it's got a certain type of fracturing. Um, it's kind of almost like a square or rectangular. And this line here that I'm drawing now, that was the tree line. Now, beyond there, the trees can't grow because it's too cold. There's not enough soil. And this is a little road. Alright, and now there's there's these trees just beyond the foreground. Um, there's going to be a whole line of them. And um, they're the darkest thing in the picture. So um, I'm going to use a, a really, a, like an 8B, something like a really dark pencil to, um, to draw them. Okay, so this, um, this picture had, there were a lot of clouds in the sky that day. And um, this makes your, your drawing more complicated because um, you've got a lot of shapes in the sky. And, and um, if I'm painting a large painting of this, which I actually, um, I'm kind of in the middle of, uh, it probably took me an extra day or maybe even more to, uh, to do this piece because of all these little clouds in the sky and, and their various shades of gray clouds um, when you paint them they're always like various different shades of light gray um, sometimes with a colorful sunset you can mix a little bit of orange or yellow in there as well um, as you can see there's a lot of them and um, I love this this is as interesting sometimes I, I paint or draw skies with no clouds in them 
Um, and it's just simpler, right? But it's not quite as interesting to the eye. You can see that this mountain has big cracks in it. It's like this giant plate that's been broken and turned up at one point. And um, it's got these like really interesting cracks and fractures. So I'm trying to get some of those in there because that adds a lot of interest to the piece. Now what I'm, what I'm drawing right now is a, a distant mountain beyond the, the first one. It's a little hard to capture. Um, it's it, if you were painting or drawing in color, it would be it would look slightly more blue. But since I'm working with graphite, I just have to uh, make it slightly lighter. Let's see if I can um, kind of successfully do that in this painting. But we won't know till a little bit later on. Well, since I'm trying to finish this in about 20 minutes, um, I'm blocking in areas of color, so I can't add really fine detail to every single area in this drawing. So um, I'm going to add some some really general kind of just a shade of color here, and I might add a little bit of detail in uh, later. This area that I'm blocking in here is the forest and it only goes up so high before it's just too cold or there's not enough soil for the trees to grow uh, closer to the top of the mountain. All right, here I'm being careful not to uh, color in this area too heavy. Remember, when you're working with graphite, all you've got is the the darkest pencil and then the lightest, the whitest part of the paper, right? So, so you want to be careful for the really light areas to leave them almost with no graphite on them at all. So, um, you could just very lightly brush over the light areas with your pencil. You'll notice I'm holding the pencil pretty far back. I'm only doing that because if I put my hand into the drawing, the autofocus will focus on my hand. I usually hold the pencil quite a bit further up. Okay, so here I'm trying to add some little vertical lines that will uh, kind of tell your eye that th there's trees here as a forest. Um, so and it's going to make it a little darker which is nice forest is always pretty dark even from a distance in the sunshine the forest would be quite dark so these vertical lines will hopefully help your eye to to realize what this is
Okay, now I'm starting in on the trees that are much, much closer to the foreground. Um, these trees are maybe just uh, 100 feet away or something. So because they're so close, they're going to each have a distinct shape. So I'm going to try to add some distinction to these trees. And they're also going to be very dark. Um, there are parts of this little tree line at the bottom, um, close to the rocks in the foreground, that are going to be almost black. And for that, I could use an 8B. Um, or I could actually go into a charcoal pencil, which is probably the blackest black that you can get when you're talking about uh, drawing with pencils. So I've cut out a little bit of this video because it is, as you can see, it's pretty tedious. This might be one of the more tedious little parts of the drawing because I, I do have to work quite hard to get um, to get the blacks happening in this in this little part of the painting or the the drawing. So yeah, you won't see the whole thing, but um, probably not necessary. So I'm again using my blocking in technique here, which is uh, it's great if you want to do something, you don't want to add detail to every single little part of the painting or drawing, just block in and you can add detail later if you feel that it needs detail. All right, now I'm doing the distant mountains. Now remember, these are very distant. There's a lot of atmosphere between these objects and your eye. So uh, they'll almost be the color of the sky sometimes, these objects. They're, they're gonna be a, like a light blue with just a tiny bit of gray. So keep that in mind when you're drawing really distant objects in a landscape that they're gonna be very light.
All right, now I'm sketching in this mountain that's behind this primary mountain. So I'm trying to keep it light so that it looks like it's behind it. Okay, now these two final trees in the foreground here. Um, since they're standing out a little bit closer, they're going to be lighter. So I'm going to use a, a lighter pencil, like maybe a 2B instead of the 8B that I think I was using for, for the darker trees just beside them. Okay, now I'm working on the foreground. The foreground is a very light rock, like a light gray. Um, but it does have some shadow, because remember the light is coming from the right and it's going left. So you're gonna get some shadow in between these rocks. And um, so, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, now I'm blocking in the sky, so i um, not sure what I'm using here. Maybe a B, um, something that's pretty light, a light, uh, a pretty hard pencil that won't put down very dark graphite color. Um, so the sky is going to be kind of a light gray, and then the clouds I'll just leave white. And I'm just blocking this in quickly. You can also try doing a pencil drawing that takes uh, hours or even days. Uh, you know, there's there's no end to the detail that you can put in these some of these things. Okay, and this is pretty much the finished drawing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Come visit me on Instagram. Pretty soon I'll have a website up where you can buy prints, which really helps. And uh, have a good day. Bye.